Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video we are solving problem on first order and first degree differential equation. Topic is exact or non-exact differential equation solution. Okay. Given problem is solve x y square plus 2 x square y cube dx plus x square y minus x cube y square dx is equal to 0. Sorry friends, this is a dy is equal to 0. Okay friends, now given problem is in the form of m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy is equal to 0. Okay, in this case m you write down dx question that is x y square plus 2 x square y cube n is dy question that is x square y minus uh, x cube y square now we have to verify which is an exact or non exact so for that we have to find out dou m y dou y and dou n by dou x i am finding dou m y dou y now so dou m by dou y means we have to differentiate m partially with respect to y while differentiating partially with respect to y treat all other variables as a constant now x is there x is a constant y square derivative is 2y so 2y into x plus here x is there y is there this 2x square is a constant y cube derivative is 3y square so 3 times of 2 6 y square into x square now dou n by dou x we have to differentiate n partially with respect to x so y is a constant x square derivative is 2x so 2xy minus x cube derivative 3x square into y square is a constant so you observe friends is both are equal 2xy is 2xy but here 6y square x square here minus 3x square y square so what we can say from this dou m by dou y naught is equal to dou n by dou x therefore given differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is non exact so if it is a non exact differential equation we have to convert into exact by multiplying integrating factor so to find integrating factor we have a different methods first we have a rule one that is inspection method so in the inspection method if it is a possible separate the terms so friends here x square y, x y square dx if you taken 2 x square y cube dx if you taken okay if you separate it you cannot rearrange you cannot get the direct solution okay so inspection method is not possible in this case second method we have a rule 2 so in the rule 2 what we have homogeneous differential equation means m and n should be homogeneous of degree same okay so in the m you have a two terms the first term degree what you can say x power 1 y power 2 so degree 3 here x square y cube degree 5 so both are equal no this is degree 3 this is degree 5 so m is a non homogeneous so uh, homogeneous is also not possible in this case non homogeneous that is the reason now go for rule 3 rule 3 is it should be in the form of uh, first non exact differential equation it should be in the form of y into fxy dx plus x into gxy dy is equal to 0 so in this case dx equation should be y if you take in a y common fxy is should be up here now here what is the m you have m is xy uh, xy square plus 2x square y cube so in the m you have to take y common if i take in a y is a common then what you are getting yes we are getting xy plus 2x square y square so it is a function of xy okay i will write friends here you see this is the this is the given problem so i am taking a dy quotient should be what y into fxy so y you can take common or not verify i can take y common y common so if i take in y common xy plus 2x square y square into dx uh, dy quotient should be x x should be common so can i take x common verify yes you can take x common then you will have xy here also you can take x common then you have x square y square dy is equal to 0 friends you observe this is y dx is y dx given function is uh, the remaining function should be f of x comma y so it is x y power 1 this is x y power 2 okay this is satisfied next x dy yes x dy this should be a function of x y yes x y x square y square means x y whole square right so what we can say the third condition is which is satisfying in this case integrating factor uh, how we can find out means we have to find mx minus ny value if it is not is equal to 0 then we have integrating factor is 1 by mx minus ny so first you multiply x for this 
x if you multiply it, x y term so x y into x y we have x square y square plus 2 x y if i multiply it, x cube y cube minus n y so multiply y and subtract so if i multiply it, y y x y x into y x means y square x square minus of uh, this is x y if i multiply it, x cube y cube so you verify friends this is plus x square y square minus x square y square both are getting cancelled then 2 x cube y cube minus of minus plus x cube y cube means 3 y cube x cube which is a non-zero therefore integrating factor is 1 by 3 x cube y cube so this integrating factor we have to multiply for the given differential equation then it will be a non-exact differential equation now i am writing this m dx plus n dy and i am multiplying okay friends this is given m dx plus n dy is equal to zero i am multiplying 1 by 3 times of x cube y cube so in this case what we are getting you see uh, each term you multiply then x y square by y cube means numerator x is there denominator x cube is there so 1 by 3 here uh, y square y so 1 by x square y plus this is a 2 by 3 times of x square by x cube means here you have a denominator x y cube y cube cancel so 1 by x into dx okay friends plus here you have a x square y so x square x getting cancelled then 1 by 3 x y by y cube means y square minus x cube x cube cancel y square y cube means 1 by 3 is there y into dy is equal to 0 is an exact differential equation i think it is uh, clear for everyone what i did just i multiplied 1 by 3 x cube y cube inside now if it is an exact differential equation what is the general solution we have general solution is integral of m1 dx plus integral of n1 dy is equal to 0 where y is a constant this is a free from x terms can say now how we can find out using m1 i am writing 1 by 3 and uh, integrating with respect to x we have to treat all other constants so 1 by 3 by i am writing outside then 1 by x square dx plus here you have a 2 by 3 i can write outside integral of 1 by x dx and this is a free from x term so you should not take this term then remaining term is what you have minus 1 by 3 is a constant integral 1 by y dy is equal to what c this is integral 0 friends so this is c okay remember now i am integrating in this case 1 by 3 y is a 1 by 3 y 1 by x square integration you see friends 1 by x square you don't have directly so you can add this is x power minus 2 x power minus 2 dx integration x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 nothing but minus 1 by x so this is minus 1 by x plus 2 by 3 times of denominator is x numerator is 1 so denominator derivative in the numerator so log of denominator minus 1 by 3 similarly y derivative is 1 that is in the numerator so log y which is equal to c so here denominator all the denominator is containing 3 and moreover you can simplify or else up to this is also enough you can simplify if you want how can i simplify means 3 3 is a common you take a left side and log a minus log b form you can apply we have a formula so you see remember m log a is equal to log a power m log a minus log b is equal to log of a by b so these are formulas we have so first what i am doing up to this is enough friends just i am uh, simplifying more so minus 1 by xy plus 2 log x minus log y which is equal to 3c now minus 1 by xy plus this is you can write log x square minus log y is equal to 3c even you can simplify more this is log a minus log b log of a by b which is equal to 3c so this is the solution for the given problem is it clear friends like this we can find out uh, remaining problems also thank you for watching this video friends you can find more number of the videos in my channel